Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 uh, Settler Challenge. We're here with our settler herself, and I don't even know what she's doing. What is she doing? She is cleaning the bathtub, repairing it. Okay. Well, since um, Colt is no longer in the house right now, hopefully coming back soon, God only knows, um, hopefully that she can just keep it together while he is gone. It is 6.11 in the morning and the girls are not going to school, like always, you know this. Um, she does want to help Constance with her homework, but the problem is she's not going to school, so it's not like she comes home and just needs help with homework. It's, it's not like that at all. So, um, she's just going to have to live with that. Um, I don't think we can make fried fish without a grill. Oh, we need one fish. Well, I guess we could catch a fish. It doesn't really matter. She's already mastered her um, one skill, which was the <clears throat> the painting. Well, she hasn't mastered it, but she's pretty close. Um, and she's already put in her point for that because we've already built the museum. So, no big deal there. All right. Oops, that's not what I'm meant to do, girl. Alright, finish eating that, and then we can go ahead and um, move on with our lives. Now, tonight at midnight, we do have to roll for the thing of him coming home or what happens there. Um, hopefully, he comes home, but I can't promise that. Alright, let's see. Okay, we just need to get one fish, lady. One fish. And I need to make sure the kids don't go to school, but otherwise, nothing I can do here. Hmm, I just want to make sure they don't go to school. I don't even know what time they go. How much longer before they go? Uh, ten minutes, okay. So I'll check back with them at like eight o'clock. <clears throat> Pretty cool. The fish look really cool in this game, I think. For the, the way the game looks itself. Um, I just think they look cool anyways. Okay, um, she's having fun doing this. I just need one fish so she can make the pan fried, or, yeah, the pan, or the fried fish, I mean. Yeah. Alright, girl, catch one. You can do it. You've got this. Please be something good. Mm, nope. She got nothing. Cast us, little buddy, back in there, and let's see what we can catch. She's like, well, I'm thinking nothing, but I'll keep trying. Now the kids, um, once they age up, I'm going to roll one or two. So one will be for Celeste and two will be for Constance. And then we just go with whoever wins that roll. Um, because I, I don't really know how to choose. I would have done the firstborn, but we had twins right off the bat. So uh, there's nothing I can do, you know twins is twins there's nothing I can do about it so that's fine we'll just we'll just go with the flow now she does have another week before she becomes a adult so that's good um, we have a little bit more time with her um, I will be switching over to one or the other of the kids when they become a teen though I'm not gonna wait until they're a young adult we're just gonna switch over then All right go fishing Right, I'm just going to fast forward her a little bit because this is kind of tedious watching her try to fish in a fish. Just need one. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Don't worry about it. She caught a minnow. Now, can we make some fried fish? Please and thank you. Uh, cook up some fried fish. There you go. Alright, so it looks like Celeste is going to be our little girl who knows a lot of things. And it looks like Constance is going to be the one who's more socially active than anything else. 
I never really see her build any skills. She's always just trying to talk with everyone, which is kind of funny. <laughs> True story. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, once she's done with this, we'll put it in the fridge. <clears throat> we'll lock in the next thing she wants to do. Oh, she's sneezing. That's is disgusting. And then we're going to paint one more painting. Oh, God, it was on the floor. Then I love how she picks up with her bare hand and throws it back in the pan <laughs> to not cook it anymore. All right, put that away. She wants to catch a fish. That's fine, but we're going to paint a... Mm, let's do a surrealism. Let's do large. We do have quite a bit of money. I'm pretty proud. Alright, let's see. I'm probably never going to get to do that, so I'm just going to unpin it. And if it goes away, it goes away. Chirobi. Bobi. Gretzenu. All right, well, if you don't know, you have to put paint on the paintbrush and put it on the canvas to be able to paint anything. <laughs> These guys are probably like, yeah, look, she's at social level eight. Or junkus. A lot of social. But she's over here doing mental, which is probably one of the best things. So kind of in a way, I hope we get one because... <laughs> Celeste, but I don't know. I really like Constance too. Either way would be a good choice, I believe. I can't remember their traits. So Constance is an art lover, and Celeste has an unknown trait. That's great. We're doing great. <laughs> All right. Um, they would like her to finish painting before we switch, like master painting. She's at 62%, so I'm pretty sure she can do it. How long do the kids have, though? Uh, four days. All right, so not even, adult age of the teen will be on them for three days, and then it'll be her birthday. So, it's going to be interesting. I kind of wonder what level that is for her. Whether it's really high or it's really low, I'm not really sure. Hmm. Kind of wonder. Alright. And then Sunday is another event. Hopefully this first event is over by Sunday. Oh jeez, it's going to be a fright. Um, and hopefully the next one's not as horrible as the one we got just got. Because that's pretty bad. Um, Alright. She, yeah, she just works on talking the whole entire time. Her Probably her biggest skill is the social, and hers is mental. She's always using this table thing, which I think is cool. Gives her something to do, so... Alright, that's mental level 6. That's pretty good. So she's definitely probably going to be like a nerd or something. Alright. I'm not worried that they're late for school. I'm sure they're not worried either. <laughs> Let's be honest, all kids' dreams to not have to go to school, right? So, these kids are living in the lap of luxury here. She's feeling sad. Aww. What is she doing on the painting? At the 69%. She's not really painting then, because she's been stuck at 69 for a while now. Mom does have a great relationship with both of the girls, so that's great. I mean, she's actually spent, like, she's actually taking time away from the skill building to make sure that her relationship with them doesn't, like, deplete. Which I thought was a good thing. 
She's not doing anything, she's just seeing the other chairs. Well, it's kind of funny, they both thought about the same thing at the same time. Oh, there she goes. She's up to 72 now. This is our big money maker right here. Once I can't do that, it's going to be a problem. You know, because the next person is going to have to work on a different scale. Alright, go ahead and sell that to a collector and use the bathroom. I'm going to go ahead and let you take a shower. And then I'm going to have you paint um, a realism po painting. Okay. Speed up a little bit. She's just killing over here with this skill. Okay. <clears throat> There's not really much going on, so I am just going to keep it on speed too. Just because we're just painting and that's about it. She's just drinking juice and she's working with that. Nothing too spectacular is happening right now. Oh, it looks like we're going to have to um, prepare that. Alright, um, what are they getting calls for? God only knows. I actually don't think they're getting the calls anymore, it was just that one ring. Very awkward. Oh, crappers. Alright, we need to pay our bills. Jeez. My mouse isn't working. It's like, I don't know, really weird. Alright, pay the bills and then get the mail. Okay. Please don't break that too. Oh, jeez. What is that? Oh my god, I love that. Yes, girl. Can we, like, keep this one? I'm going to hold on to it because I really like that one. I've never seen it either. Alright. Um, frame that. And do a pop art painting. No, nope, don't go do that because she's in the shower. And then you can uh, repair this. Alright, go ahead and do that. Once she maxes this out, I probably won't paint anymore. Unless we need money. Um, she's at 84%, so. We're just about there. Just about there. Alright, there we go. What the heck? <laughs> she just comes out of the bathroom holding plates. I'm just saying, if that's not awkward, I don't know what it is. Alright. What are we up to? 90? That's pretty good. I don't think I've seen that one either. I don't think I've spent much time painting in The Sims 4. I mean, I will, though. Alright, go ahead and sell that. Level 7 with the social. She's up there pretty high on the social, too. Killing it. I'm sure there's a... Puddle, maybe? No? Alright, go ahead and paint... Um, Impressionism. What does she want to paint? Oh, she wants to sell a painting. Okay, we're gonna do that. Aww, these were sweet. Oh! Oh my goodness, Constance is using it. Amazing. And now Celeste is using that. Alright, what are we up to? 96. Hopefully we can finish it on this. I'd be happy to be able to get it done. I want skill level, I wonder what skill level that is for her. 
She has it up to six. Yeah, only four. So that goes to show you. She's a little bit more brainiac than a little bit more brainiac than she is. But that's okay. Yes! Have a sim reach max level in the painting skill. Oh my gosh. Oh god. She's little bees. Kid. Reach level ten, we can she's now a master of the art. No, extinguish it. She can now also mentor other things from painting. Okay, that's cool. Oh man. Oh man. Oh children. That is the only bad thing about this is that it can light fire. But we're gonna replace them. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, let's eat something. Open this up and grab a serving of the fried fish. Put this away. Alright, when you're done with that, go ahead and resume your painting. Is that a unicorn? Kind of looks like it could be a unicorn, but I don't know what it is. I don't think I've ever seen that one either. I really need to paint more in The Sims 4. I really do. <laughs> because, I don't know, I just feel like it would be so cool to paint and like see all the different paintings that you can make. I just hate that a lot of times they repeat the same paintings. Like they'll repeat like a painting that they just did and then they'll repeat it again. And that's why I think I get bored of painting. It's because I get bored of seeing the same old, same old. But she's been painting a lot of different ones. I wonder if it also has something to do with the traits. Because I always seem to go with the same traits. I don't know, like... That's kind of why I like randomizing for, like, my current household and stuff. It just adds drama to it. Because especially because you could get, like, a mean-spirited person who loves kids. And that would make no sense. But, you know, it would make... Would make it interesting to see how they reacted towards their kids. <laughs> let's put it that way. Alright, when she's done, let's clean that up. And I'm going to let her use that, mop that up, and then she is going to go. Um, it's only 10 o'clock. She only has to go right out here to fish. She doesn't want to catch another fish. I'm going to let her try. She's feeling okay about the fire because she put it out. So. <laughs> she's feeling a superhero. Even though she's not. She fire just put on fire. <laughs> well, I guess she is a superhero. She can't save her kids. <laughs> I guess that's a good reason to be considered a superhero. She's a superhero to her, in her kids' eyes. <laughs> that's it? That's all it is? Uh, that's a masterpiece, you say? Alright, we'll go ahead and sell that to the gallery because we don't want it. Not quite a, what I was looking for. Alright, let's see. Admire yourself in the mirror. You could do that real quick. Before you go to bed. Sleep. Um, yeah, it's 11 o'clock. Let's not go fishing now. We'll go fishing tomorrow. I locked it in. You'll have plenty of time. Oh, you don't even want to marry yourself anymore. Yep, sell it to a gallery. You're good to go. Alright. It was over a thousand simoleons for that. That's pretty easy money. Alright. In just about 45 minutes, we have to pause and roll. Okay. Um, <laughs> Colt is supposedly having a baby with uh, Jocelyn Bush. <laughs> so that's awkward. Um, Daisy Dusby and Alice Spencer Kim are having a baby, and Bella Goth and Mortimer Goth, and Kelly Goff, Goff, and Eric Lewis, Don Lothario and Summer Holiday, Tori Matsura and Nina Caliente, Lilia Lila Grace and Dina Caliente, Malia Jamison and Katrina Caliente, Violet Lester and Gavin Richards. Uh, Gilana Gunderson and Jay Huntington III, Cassidy Peralta and Mitchell Galani, oh my gosh, Julian Hills and Zoe Patel, Ashley Trimble with Kendall Kuilas, and the Athena Boyce and Corrine Valentine got married. So, it looks like our husband has cheated on us. 
now we kind of can hope that he dies. <laughs> That's so horrible to say, but it's so true. All right, let me go ahead and um, roll. I don't think this is going to keep recording um, while I'm tabbed out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll, and then I'll be right back. All right, well, I rolled, and it ends up that he's coming home. <laughs> Yay! We've got a cheating husband. <laughs> All right, let's move him in. Um, the war is over, and everyone can, can come home, is what it said. So let's manage worlds, and just go in here, and we're going to add him to the households. Where does he even live? I can't remember. I tried to look and it didn't like, it didn't give me, oh, he lives right here. Oh, okay. Um, let's manage the household and we're going to transfer him back into our house. Um, we're going to put you here. That'll be good. And now we've got our cheating husband back. Yay! Cheating husband! <laughs> Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about him moving back in. He couldn't, seriously, we moved him out for like, what, one day? And he like literally went out and cheated on us and got another girl pregnant. Gosh. Can't believe him. Alright, let's speed up because it's she's sleeping and there's nothing for us to do. Excuse me? Who said you could sleep in my bed? That's what I thought. I don't care. I really don't care because I got a cheating husband on me. Alright, I'm just speeding through them sleeping, which is so sad. This girl is like, man, if I could walk that fast and get that kind of stuff done in the morning, man, my life would be like, amazeballs! <laughs> because I wouldn't have to, like, spend time trying to, you know, get in the shower. Like, look how fast she can take a shower. I mean, come on, you can pee, like, in a second, eat in a second, take a shower in a second. You're just done, ready to go. <laughs> The only life could move that quickly. It doesn't. It doesn't move that quickly. It does feel like days flash before your eyes, like at the end of the day, but it definitely in the moment is not that quick. So. Some things I would want to slow down. Some things I would want to speed up. The boring. I'm sure like a lot of people would like to speed up like school and work. If only we had those kinds of things in our lives, then we could... We don't have those kinds of things in our lives, though. Alright, so we are many days away. We are six days away, which means they are three days away. Okay, so three more days for them, and then they age up. So they age up on what? Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday they age up. Okay. Well, we can't let them go to school, so at 8 o'clock I am going to pause and tell them not to go. <clears throat> Okay, let me make sure they don't go. Because they're not allowed to. Okay, and then mom, looks like you're getting up. And clean, use, you can take a shower, you can go ahead and eat a plate of some pancakes. We were doing just fine without you home, Colt Roberts, you cheating son of a gun. Alright. I think I'm going to just, like, have her break up with him, to be honest. We found out that he cheated, and uh, he got another girl pregnant. He came home and told us that he thought he was going to die, and he woohooed with her while in at, he woohooed with the nurse while at war. And now she's pregnant with his baby, and now we get to divorce him. <laughs> that mod is pretty vicious. It literally threw everyone into a relationship with someone. So, I don't totally blame it on him. <laughs> but I do blame it on him. Oh, gosh. And I was all sad when he left, and now he's back, and I'm like, Die! <laughs> I'm horrible. I'm a horrible person, what can I say? She needs fun, so we're going to go fishing next. I think after we break up with him. We're going to clean up the dishes, though, because we do need to do that. Alright. Alright. We're taking care of her pretty well. The only thing she always needs is fun. 
But, like I said, we'll be fine. Okay, go ahead. Ba bam Alright, I think I am going to let her divorce him, just because it's a little... We're going to, um, we're going to confront him about his situation and be like, So, kind of heard through the grapevine that you woohooed with somebody uh -oh. and she's pregnant with your baby. Is it true? And he's going to have the guilty face and tell us that he never meant to do it. It was just an accident. <laughs> and then we are going to be mean and divorce him. Oh, and she flirts with him. That's awkward. She's like, I still love you, but it's over. We're getting a divorce. <laughs> she threw the sweet. She threw the sweet interaction in there just to like throw him off, so he didn't know it was what was coming. <laughs> All right, come on, divorce the man. He treated you like poo. Oh yeah, I've got to fix that too. I keep telling myself, fix that, fix that, fix that. And then I get done and I'm like, well, I'll fix it next time. I'll fix it next time. Ooh, I'll fix it next time. So we'll have to fix it in like a little bit. Ooh, and Sabara. Oh, don't be Divorce has begun. I'm sorry, children. We should console them. Give them a hug. Give them both a hug. Don't hug my child. I will chop you in pieces. <laughs> They're my kids. Um, can you like cheer them up or anything? Like seriously, they're sad. Um, no. Yes. Express your love for them. I mean, come on. They're your babies. Tell them how much it's not your fault, children. It's your dad. He couldn't be good man while it wasn't in the house. He was a bad, bad boy. Alright, give this other one up. Express your love for her. Come on. Child, stop talking to him. He's no good for you. He's going to brainwash you. Buy a toy. Really? Okay, we can buy a toy. Alright, and then you're going to go fishing. Go fishing. Don't miss out on the fishing expedienza while we're mourning. No, we're not mourning while we're sad from a divorce with our cheating, cheating, lying husband. He went to war for us, but came back with another baby. <laughs> That's how we feel. We'll get to see if he has a boy or girl. I'm not really too worried about it. Oh, she's so sad. I really hate that she's sad. And the kids are sad. Oh. We probably shouldn't have done it in front of them, but there was nothing I could do. She went back inside. I thought she was going to do it outside. And then she was like, no, I'm going to go back inside and do this because that seems like a smart idea. <laughs> and I'm like, no. <laughs> All right, well, can you catch a fish? We could buy a toy. There we go. Caught a fish. Oh, yeah, baby. What is it? It's a perch. She wants to be friendly with Constance. Where's Constance? This one. Constance. Let's be friendly and brighten her day. Come on, girl. You can brighten her day. Um, what does she want to do? Play the violin. Why is playing the violin going to make you happy? Eh, eh, eh. Come on. Alright, charisma level two. Aw, there we go. Did anyone help her with the homework? We can't do that one, so. Alright, I know that's my timer, but I do want to just buy this toy real quick before we go. 
Um, I'm not going to buy anything too expensive. So, um, does it count if we just go in here and we buy toys? And we just, like, add a robot or something? Bam, it does. Okay. Buy a pool, maybe. Alright, guys, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to end it here. Um, in the next one, we'll be coming back and we'll probably get through till day four. Um, which will be when the girls are um, one day away from aging up. And then the next episode after that will be their teen birthdays. And um, we'll be moving on with some good old... Um, her then we'll be having them age up and then a few days later she'll be aging up and then we'll be choosing and well when they age up we're choosing a new heir and then we start with them we'll have lots to do and we'll be starting on the second generational bitch which will be exciting because we get to choose the next the next skill um which i am going to probably randomize kind of thought it would be fun to randomize and see what we come up with because it might be hard for certain people to go with it i don't know we'll see but anyways, guys, if you guys liked it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. In the description below, there is a donation link. If you'd like, donate to the channel along with things like my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, and my Twitch links. So if you want to check them out, that would mean the world to me. And then we'll talk to you guys in my next one. Thanks very much for watching.